They say the Portland Marathon is the best people's marathon in the West. Runners and Nordic walkers come from all over the world to take part. And this is where they queue up and register. Better get warmed up then. It's all right, I'm British. Hello there, I'm Alistair Duval. I'm outside the famous London Hilton in Park Lane. The celebrities and the guests are arriving. We're in for a great evening and I can't wait to find out who are going to be the winners. Oh, I tell you what, this is great. It's like home from home, fish and chips, and they smell fantastic. And what a novelty idea to sell fish and chips from an old bow picker. They used to fish salmon off the coast of the Columbia River. Brilliant. Can't wait to get my teeth into some hot chips. Hello. Hello. Mm. A portion of fish and chips, please. Yeah, I'll give that right for you. Thank you. Oh, looking forward to this. Oh, great. There you go. Okay, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Have a great oh. day. Thank you, you too. Oh, yummy. Fish and chips. Salt and vinegar. Did you see that? Blimey. This is one of the main areas I wanted to get to here at Jersey Zoo. This is the, the gorilla enclosure. And did you see how he smacked the side there? Oh, blimey, the strength of that. That's Yakwanza. Now, today I'm going to bring a little bit of culture into my life. I'm looking for the Kitsos Macris Folk Art Centre. And it's in this leafy suburb of Volos. It's a beautiful day. It's about 75 degrees today. Well, I should look forward to seeing Pete and the boys when they come here to Peterborough. Make sure you catch them somewhere on their 60s tour in the Anglia region. Time for a preview now of what's going on in the Anglia region with some events and some music from Jan Arden. A life on the ocean wave, a home on the rolling deep, where the scattered waters rave and the winds their revels keep. Right, that's my audition for Pop Idol out the way. Welcome aboard the Discovery. And there's the sight we're all here to see, whales. Or in other words, there she blows. That's incredible. See, that's why they call this boat the Discovery. Because you never know what you're going to discover. Wow. You know, the Millionaire Club are fantastic. They have an affiliation with the best hotels and resorts anywhere. And I thought to myself, shall I do a hotel or a resort? Not when you got this. The cracking boat. Oh, wow, I love it. Who makes it? This is made by Azimut. It's a super boat. Yeah, they're well known then. Not particularly well known in the UK, but very popular in the Med. Alright, so if I was going to be driving this, would this be the uh, Porsche boats? I think more a Maserati. Now, if I'm going to drive this, is it like driving a car? It's a little like driving a car, you've got a steering wheel, but you've got two throttles. And you're going to trust me to do this? I'm going to trust you implicitly. Alright, so I can really floor it then? Push it forward, let's see what it does. Here we go. Here I am on stage at the Key Theatre in Peterborough. I found the mad Russian that Annabelle's been looking for. He's here. He's with the Ra Theatre. His name's Homer. But he's not how he used to be, are you? No. I used to be over six feet tall, and I was big and strapping, and I had a chest like a barrel, but now I'm a ghost of my former self. Ra Theatre's she-devil. Coming to a theatre near you? He's barking. But it's gonna be good. Make sure you see it. You just take it and slide your marshmallow out. Right. And then you eat it. I eat it, yeah. Well, you take that one, look. Oh. You carry on with that one. <laughs> and I'll try to. You're an expert, aren't you? This is a great way to spend a day or two or three days llama trekking. Great animals, too. And to finish off with a campfire in the camp, tents behind, great way to spend the night. Sun's going down, beautiful forest behind you. You can hear all the animals, a little nice noise of the, all the wood crinkling away there. And finish it off with a traditional campfire dessert and this is called a s'more and do you know why it's called a s'more because once you've had one you want, you want some more, more.